two years, um, as well as um, uh, the measurable uh, outcomes. Uh, we are going before we table um, uh, the final SDBIP. As we know, the executive mayor subsequent to uh, the approval of the budget uh, must receive the SDBIP in 14 days and the other 14 days, the executive mayor must approve. But before those 28 days um, uh, elapsed, we would want to take our SDBIP to our internal audit so that they can verify the accuracy and completeness of the alignment between one, the IDP, two, um, the target service delivery, and lastly, alignment with our budget because all these two documents, IDP and, and SDBIP, must be able to inform the figures, which is the budget. So we'll take one step back to align this, the three, but uh, internal audit will be at the center of the improvement that we want to uh, we want to put in place so that when on a quarterly basis we, we are reporting on the achievement or the performance on SDBIP, there is accuracy as as possible and the completeness in terms of our reporting. So those are the steps that we're going to be put in place to ensure that uh, there is uh, alignment between the targets in the IDP, SDBIP, as we continue to be uh, reporting. Coming to uh, uh, question number 14, in terms of um, uh, the progress uh, uh, to ensure the alignment with the original agreements uh, with respect to timeline and budget. Honorable Chair, we've got contract management division, which um, 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 before the end of the contract, uh, six months up front on a monthly basis towards the completion, they are informing uh, the department about uh, the um, uh, the end of the of the contract. But more specifically, in terms of what is being delivered on the ground by various service pro uh, providers in line with the agreement as it pertains to timelines and the budget. Uh, we are going to be establishing uh, a centralized uh, performance management unit. Currently, uh, the performance management I mean, project management is cut out all over. So we want to consolidate that so that we are able to say the issues pertaining to contract management, the implementation in line with uh, the budget, as well as the timelines for project to be completed um, is, is controlled through project management. Chair, this question is very important because some of the projects have been incomplete and resulted in some of the USDG monies and uh, uh, to be uh, to be taken back. So we want to close all those gaps so that we are able to say uh, um, uh, if there is number uh, uh, non-performance as it relates to number question, we need to be applying uh, the mechanism in terms of um, uh, instituting various uh, sanctions and the sanctions. That the let, city. Let, let, me, let, let me just ask some question. I'm sorry for interjection, uh, uh, city city acting manager. The, Thanks, honourable chair. Now that you are referring to the USDG grant, uh, I want to check because in the in the service delivery of the audit opinion, they were talking about almost 511 million. So I want to check: are you are you also referring to that money? Was the 511 million, is it the one that was taken back or is, it was half of it? Or I just want to check if, if you, you might be having information on it. Uh, Honorable Chair, I would uh, request the uh, yes. assistance of uh, the CFO, but I would imagine that is cumulative over the con two consecutive years currently as you speak, is uh, almost around 330 million that has been taken back. And Chairperson, I was on number 15 to say... Can, can I just ask CFO? Uh, okay. I'm sorry, pardon me. CFO, 
Why did this grant be taken back? Why, why, why was that issue? Do you, do you know it might be the reason why people of Mangaung are fighting? Yeah, they are primarily fighting for the service delivery and when yourselves, you were, you were unable to spend over the project. Is it because you were unable to appoint or is it because the project was there and the project could not deliver its own deliverables or what was the issue? Thank you, uh, 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 Chair, and uh, good, 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 good day, uh, Chair of Chairs, uh, I mean, honorable members, the acting EM, uh, the Chair, I mean, I mean, of the MPEC, the MMC of Finance, and the acting CM, and my colleagues. Um, Chair, the, the main reason why these monies uh, were uh, and returned uh, in the previous financial years, uh, uh, Chair, it is mainly uh, due to uh, lack of, of performance. Uh, I mean, on on the projects, which uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, and the reasons, uh, which uh, they start from the planning. Uh, I mean, of the projects, where you find that uh, some of the projects that were in the budget or of the previous financial year, they were not uh, ready for implementation. But they were included uh, chair, I mean, in the budget or, or in the business plan for the USDG. We find that a project is, uh, I mean, fully included uh, in the budget, only to find that uh, that project is, is not ready to be to implemented. Then, chair, that uh, I mean has has led to uh, a, a, a slow spending uh, of the, I mean, of the grants. Where at the end the the NT they, they did cut our, our uh, budget for for that financial year to, to, to say that uh, we are not ready and those uh, I mean the, the money is were taken back. The other reasons chair is where uh, some of the appointments uh, were done late and uh, chair there, there was a to delay on the into designs. Uh, on some of, of of these projects, uh, uh, chair, where I mean, we found that uh, at the end, the money is uh, were taken, chair. Chair, that that also applies even in the current financial year on the three hundred million, uh, 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 chair. Where I mean, those those monies, uh, I mean, went back due to uh, the issue of the projects that are not been ready that we I mean, include. Uh, I mean. In the budget, thank you. I'm, I'm sure the city manager, uh, Tina, we we want to wish you well in your acting ship because for the institution to realize your capacity, it is during this time. It, it, they don't have to appoint you as a as an accounting officer first, but you can prove yourself from this level of being an acting city manager to bring changes and stability into Mangaum uh, because you can hear from the CFO because I can tell you now sometimes it might not have been the CFO but what I understand is that in terms of the the committee uh, the bid committees your adjudication your evaluation uh, uh, they are controlled at the level of the supply chain and if those committees uh, can function well uh, it is going to make the city manager to fail because if honestly uh, the the reason why the money was lost of the grant primarily because of a delay to appoint or primarily because of a delay to deal with the should i say the tender process uh, it then brings to where we are today so 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 i'm just saying i wish you the, all the best to correct these things uh, and make sure that they are seriously corrected and and and, and some of us we, we we understand why the people of Manga, bloomfontein in particular as the executive mayor said why they were fighting i mean they were fighting for a good cause because they might be having this information they might actually be knowing exactly what has happened why the money was lost and so on. So 
it has been an embarrassment to us uh, as Free State when we attend the National uh, Division of Revenue uh, Selection Committee. Uh, we can we don't even know what to say, but we, we 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 will make sure that every information of all the finances in every institution of government we get it before, and we'll interact with yourself and the CFO to at least abreast us with the issues. And National Treasury is saying to us, your sales accounting officers, you don't talk to them. You only talk to them when they come and say, we are taking money away from you. Uh, uh, that, that is a weakness that we need to, to correct. Continuously, the accounting office and the CFO must have the interaction between yourself and National Treasury, whether it's quarterly, not quarterly, sorry, every fortnight or every week, I think it will help. Otherwise, free state, it looks like a target because every now and then we have been reminded of, of such issues of money being taken. So I won't deal with these grants anymore. We'll just give you the, the opportunity to run over the questions. We don't have time. We have to deal with the central issues. Thank you. Thanks, um, uh, Honorable Chair, with your great uh, summation and and guidance. Uh, this is really appreciateful. Um, Honorable Chair, uh, I was pretty much done. Only one question that is left around the composition of the bid adjudication uh, under the financial year on review. Uh, Chairperson, as far as um, uh, the city is concerned, the composition was in line with our policy. Uh, but I must indicate, uh, Honorable Chair, we have solicited um, an advice in terms of the interpretation of the law, particularly the composition with the Chief Accountant General in National Treasury. Thus far, uh, we haven't received a direct uh, response uh, based on what the AG has depicted uh, in terms of um, uh, the, the composition. Um, we still are waiting uh, uh, coming from our National Treasury War Room uh, for financial recovery. We still are waiting a further clarity. But for the financial year, we said uh, as a city, let's disclose uh, all those uh, matters that the AG have picked it up uh, while we are waiting for this clarity. It is our position, very firm position, Honorable Chair, as a city that the composition in terms of um, uh, our policy and the regulation was, was absolutely uh, compliant. However, we can't um, uh, argue with uh, the AG. The AG has raised it, and then we had to run to um, a National tra uh, Treasury uh, for the clarity. We still are waiting uh, for that clarity, um, uh, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members. Upon the receipt, um, we will implement um, the guidance from National Treasury so that uh, during uh, the following audit year, we do not encounter such in terms of the composition of the bid uh, adjudication uh, committee. So is the matter of interpretation, Honorable Chair, which we are awaiting the response from National Treasury so that we are able to put our house in order. And we commit, uh, based on your summation, Honorable Chair, we want to bring stability around the issue of procurement process, supply chain management, uh, so that uh, all the bids seats, everybody is accountable and the processes are fair uh, as uh, as part of um, our, our process. Added to the, uh, in conclusion, Honorable Chair, the issue raised by uh, Mangaun Community Consent. Um, Chair, Council have approved the supply chain management policy where we say uh, in terms of procurement, we're going to be very biased, almost 80, if not 100% to local entrepreneurship and development across across the city. So uh, all the the the, the bids um, uh, in terms of service providers, uh, council has uh, 
put direction to say local as like share and this is the the way that we are going and we're going to be implementing uh, that supply chain management policy in full so that uh, our business people our developers uh, in the free state and in Mangaum particular are able to take us forward to improve our economy and growth of our metro so that we lessen the scale of unemployment and we create uh, jobs uh, that people uh, hopefully will be happy and be reduced. On that, Chairperson, I would like to thank you very much. Thank you. Honorable Fantini. Thank you, Chair. And uh, um, I, on the last comment, I, I think that's a great initiative to, and it, and it was actually, I think, Provincially, also always the argument that we should uh, procure locally, although it never happened in the past. But I think that's a step in the right direction. Chair, uh, although we've been talking about the expenditure of our funds, it is important to to talk about the financial health of the municipality. And this has been my argument uh, since 2004 with uh, Mangaung, is the fact that they cannot collect their own debt. I mean, last year when they appeared in front of us, I know in 2004, the, the outstanding debt was about 500 million. It now accumulated to 6 billion last year. It's now over 7 billion this year. Um, you cannot survive or deliver extra services or do better things and help all these and create jobs. Like we said, it's, it's actually a sin to think that Mango cannot collect 7 billion Rand that's um, owed to them, and uh, there's people out there that doesn't got food, doesn't got work, um, and their outstanding debt to to the water board is 538 million rand. I mean that increased with another 50 million from last year. So, so can we get some some clarity? I know the last year when they appeared in front of us, they said that they're going to um, put in new meters uh, to to collect money, but I mean. Mongo every time say, listen, that we collect the 95%. And, and that means it's it's old and current debt. But you cannot collect 95% if you want to collect 7 billion rand. And, and what action has been taken? Have they been taken to court? Have they been court? Because that's a statement that I made the, the, the last week, that I think it's a political thing. The, the, the governing party is scared to take cut off people's electricity because they're going to lose votes. And, and, and that shouldn't be the, the argument. We should get that money in. We should actually deliver the services that we should deliver. So what is the plan there? Um, are we going to, to uh, be able to actually tap into that? Just to give you an, an example, Chair, uh, I think uh, and uh, the acting MM or city manager can can give us some clarity on that. I think last year uh, the, the departments owed 1.2 billion to the municipality, government departments. What is the current stance? And Jim, uh, the municipality actually doesn't owe that much their creditors. If you look at the bigger picture and the fact that they they're such a big municipality, but they cannot pay that outstanding cre creditors and they cannot deliver on services because they haven't got the money. Every now and then I stay in Mongo. Then the, the trucks hasn't got uh, petrol. Then the, the people strike because they want overtime, because they bought some extra cars on their overtime money. Then then it's this. Then it's a, We cannot survive like this in a metro, the only the biggest metro that should be the flagship in the free state. Um, so if they can just uh, respond on that, because they should cut off the, the department's electricity or water, whatever they have to do to get that money in. Businesses owed last year um, 1.3 billion. What is the stance currently with businesses? I mean, we could get that money in. And we have to 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 plead to the residents of Mongo to pay their bills. Uh, we have to, to get that money in. I know there's a lot of people that it's not in the position and cannot pay uh, due to circumstances, financial circumstances. Chair, and then if we can get the collection right again uh, from the municipality, and what was the the percentage, the project, projection in the budget of collection 
this year because because that's a skew projection and, and, it, and it doesn't work like that because I've been asking this for years now that they should actually separate old and current debt from each other, say uh, 90 days or how, how much longer, so that we can see what, what is the amount of debt and the current debt uh, with a month or two and, and longer than that. Um, chair, and then just another argument I've worked out, if, if they can collect only 30%, 30%, I mean, that's a, a, a third of that amount. They will collect 2.1 billion rand. And good graces, you can you can do so much with that. You can you can better the lives of so many people with that. Uh, so that's my greatest concern is our financial health of the municipality. And it doesn't seem hopefully the new management and all the actings will will see the importance of this because I believe that there's a huge gap there that we can actually turn around the municipality instantly to become better and address all the circumstances and all the queries of all the, the concerned groups as well um, in this way. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable uh, Van Vieren, uh, City Manager. Um, thanks, um, uh, Honorable Chair. Um, uh, through your indulgence, Honorable Chair, may I request that uh, the CFO uh, assist in providing uh, detailed uh, responses on all those uh, questions that Honorable Van Furen raised. But I really find very honorable chair that uh, Councillor Van Furen raised the government debt. And I think uh, the CFO will even emphasize on it that we really need the money from government. Government cannot be in areas at all. Thanks, and thanks a lot, Honorable Chair. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Chair. Um, chair, maybe I ask to also uh, from this side uh, acknowledge that uh, the, the financial health of the city is really not good, uh, Chair. Hence, uh, we have this uh, financial recovery plan, uh, uh, Chair, um, that was developed. Uh, where chair, we, we are not look only looking at the revenue, but we are also looking at, at the costs to really uh, 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 chair, um, improve how um, we are doing business uh, as a metro. But chair, what we are, we are doing in terms of uh, the revenue, um, we are implementing a, a, a number of strategies, uh, which the first one was that one uh, chair, on the prepaid meters. Mr. Uh, Chair, I mean, we also want to extend this the program to even the government buildings, uh, Chair, including the schools where we are, we are, we are saying, uh, Chair, we are, we are owed more than 600 million by the schools. Uh, I mean, of which, Chair, is, 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 is the money that are, are owed between us and the St. Lake. Uh, I mean, on the water uh, as well as the the, the energy. Uh, chair. chair, the whole debt of the government it is uh, now uh, at around 1.8 billion, um, of which uh, uh, chair um, around 1 billion we are uh, owed by the province, and that chair uh, I mean, I mean, includes everything. You know, I mean, rates, water, and and all the I mean, the other services. Uh, I mean, including interest, what we are I mean, owed by the, the province. Uh, it's, it's where uh, we have been having a number of uh, meetings and the engagement uh, with the province and for them uh, uh, to, 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 uh, to really also come a the financial recovery plan. Where, uh, there are three targets that they have to really achieve. In terms of this internet, that and chair, chair. Uh, I mean, the other department that, that is owing us is uh, at national rural development. Uh, uh, chair, we we have now sent them. Uh, I mean, an um, invoice. Uh, I mean, where they they are, they are, they are owing us. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, around twenty million, which I mean they will they will pay uh, chair by the end of June. Uh, I mean, which they they, 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 they will clear national. Uh, Department of I mean of Public Works chair they they are owing us more, more than two hundred million uh, I mean 
on the Tempe um, issue where uh, chair, we are having a, I mean, a dispute, I mean, on the matter. Our legal team, uh, chair, they, 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 I mean, they are engaging with uh, them in terms of, of clearing that debt, uh, I mean, chair, of 200 million uh, from National uh, Department of, of Public Works. The other one, chair, it is uh, the FDC. Uh, which uh, they they are they, they are doing us uh, talks with with the province to really the way of I mean I mean taking take, 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 take that all, all the factories that are are run uh, by the FDC we take over the the, the supply of uh, I mean water in those factories and uh, I mean build directly uh, um, at the metro into the chair. So there, there are I mean, a lot of, of, of ways that we are, we are implementing in terms of, of government debt. When it comes to the business debt, we are, we are owed uh, 1.2 billion uh, as of date. What we are now doing uh, with the teams for the past uh, two months, the teams they have been on the ground to to switch off the, the water, and we are now I mean I mean having a, a combined uh, I mean, method in between us and Centlek where I mean we we now cut both the power and the water at the same time. And so we are also I mean giving fines where we we find that there are there are some illegal connections. Uh, those ones, chair. I mean, we 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 um, have given fines, and we are also litigating more than a uh, hundred uh, good businesses, chair, that are uh, I mean, are now I mean, I mean, as part of the handed over debt that we we are litigating to really uh, to recover, chair. Chair, the other issue which we are doing is the issue of, of uh, the. The arrangements that I mean, we we I mean, we are monitoring. Uh, I mean, to ensure that, that, that I mean, we are, we are paid by these businesses. Chair, then chair on uh, residential debt, we we are having teams that are dealing with their debts per per I mean, area, uh, where chair, we are also uh, I mean, switching off uh, I mean, the water, uh, where we are I mean, out. Uh, but uh, we are also uh, um, finalizing the issue of, of the indigents, where uh, I mean we 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 want to make sure that, that we only cut for for those ones who are working. Chair, uh, we have also for our own employees uh, and the councillors uh, done. I mean I mean a a circular, which we are now implementing to take for, for, from from their salaries and from the. For, for, and from, from from their allowances, then the monies for the services chair. If they 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 owe the city for, for more than three months, their chair we 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 take from from their salaries. Chair, uh, we also I mean, I mean trying to to engage with the province that for all the civil servants, including the teachers, nurses, and the police chair, that they, they be some sort of a, the arrangement that I mean, we can we can also I mean, sign a uh, some stop orders that we 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 be paid uh, chair. I mean, as the metro, uh, chair. Uh, we are busy now uh, to um, to finalize a campaign that will will go to to each and every ward to encourage the the clients to pay for for, for their services chair. Uh, we are also uh, chair. I mean. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm having, I mean, some way of a scheme that I mean will will uh, I mean encourage our clients to pay for for, for their services. So we are also uh, in terms of of this the 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 estates I mean of, of the deceased, trying to formalize those ones. Uh, so that uh, chair, we, we we can build the, the right owners, uh, I mean, uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, of all these properties, chair.
to try and make sure that we, we can recover the, 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 these monies. But Chair, on the other hand, in terms of, of the spending, we, we are uh, Chair, I mean, in, in the new financial year, going to implement a number of, of uh, the, the cost cutting measures where our, I mean, our main focus Chair, I mean, is to cut costs. I mean, there are a lot of, of, of costs Chair, that, I mean, we, we see them as uh, not, not, not really, I mean, a, 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 a need. Well, I mean, which, uh, I, mean, I mean, in the new financial year, we, we will cut, Chair. Chair, um, we can give uh, maybe a, a, a detailed report in this regard as to what we, we are doing in terms of, of, of uh, financial health. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, honorable members. Uh, I think I am just going to request that the those questions which were not un answered, they were actually answered in 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 their ex response. Uh, may I then allow the honorable uh, Clute to take us through the 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 questions for for the NTT, uh, so that if there are any other outstanding matters, we will then also go back to the same previous questions uh, uh, for clarity. Uh, Honorable Tlute, I think uh, you can then ask the first question on 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 on, on the sent leg, so that we are able to interact with them. Uh, just a quick reminder regarding my question or, uh, to the um, uh, to the Auditor General as well, relating to the uh, issue of uh, reporting on the uh, Metro Police Service. Uh, but just, that's just a quick reminder. Okay, let's start with the questions of St. Clicks, basically, just two questions. Uh, it's monitoring. Um, the question then is Has an action plan been implemented to address audit findings? Uh, and two, do you ensure that timelines and actions in the action plan are complied with? Thank you, Jay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I don't know if Honorable Khatebe is still with us. Otherwise, uh, Honorable Khatebe, can you deal with them? I'll, I'll continue. I'll, I'll... Uh, I'll continue with them. Um, let's 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 go to the question on performance information. Uh, during 2019-2020, there were vacancies in the performance management division, which resulted in effective monitoring and reviewing. Uh, ineffective, rather, monitoring and reviewing. Has this been addressed yet? On non-compliance, numerous non-compliance matters were raised in your audit report. Um, why is adequate supervision not performed to prevent non-compliance? Why has no consequence management been enforced on the CFO and heads of directorates for non-compliance uh, findings raised by the Auditor General? And then lastly, on irregular expenditure, according to your audit report, the full extent of irregular expenditure was still in the process of being determined. How far are you with these in investigations? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Lute. May we then hear from the that they, I think the CEO is in the dashboard to respond uh, to, because the the board chair is not here with other matters that would want him to respond to. Uh, good afternoon again, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members, uh, the Acting Mayor, the MPEC Chair, the Speaker, uh, the MMC Finance, and our colleagues. Um, Chair, thanks very much for the opportunity afforded to us. Uh, it's a privilege to some of us, because it's the first time we appear in this committee chair. Uh, however, uh, we'll try our level best to 
address the issues raised. And uh, I can confirm, Chair, as much as we are new in this committee, but we are not new in the NTT. We have been here for some years. Um, Chair, uh, where I've missed or fall short, we, I will request the indulgence of the CFO to assist acting CFO that is one. By the way, he was one of the leading um, uh, team through the audit team for, for so many years. He has been with AG as well for a number of years. Uh, Chair, let me go straight to uh, question number one that was uh, posed to us. Uh, has an action plan been implemented to address audit findings? Yes, Chair. The NTT has developed an audit uh, action plan and it has been addressed on a weekly basis in our own executive meetings because we do have the ESCOs every week. Further than that, the action plan, the audit action plan, the internal audit and the internal risk committee, they do perform evaluation on the progress on a monthly basis chain. Um, on the second item, the second question, uh, do you ensure that the timelines and action actions in the action plan are complied with? Yes, Chair. Through the weekly executive meetings, the age action plan is discussed and is part of our standing item. We have taken that resolution through the audit and risk committee to say each and every executive must report on its own findings that have been funded from their directory. So indeed, yes, you are doing it on a weekly basis. Um, on the question of performance information, during the 2019-20, there was a vacancy in the performance management division, which resulted in ineffective monitoring and reviewing. Has this been addressed? Yes, Chair. The position of the executive manager performance and compliance was filled during the year January 2019. Subsequent to that, there were a number of officers in that office in, I remember at that stage there were uh, um, contract employees, but those have been uh, permanently and it has been addressed. Um, on the question of non-compliance, uh, numerous non-compliance matters were raised in your audit report. Why is adequate supervision not performed to prevent non-compliance? Uh, non-compliance issues reported, Chair. I will, I will, I will mention through the, 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 the audit report, Chair, uh, few of those. And, and, and if there's any clarity, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to, to get into that. One of the non-compliance issues, Chair, that was raised was payment not made within 30 days as an entity. Um, as an entity, we have resuscitated the revenue enhancement team that we sit on a weekly basis I'm chairing that team, I'm leading that uh, revenue enhancement uh, forum chair to make sure that we improve our liquidity and, and improve our revenue collections. And in addition to that, what we are doing as well, we've got a, a division that is called revenue protection. We also strengthen that team uh, that is looking around our illegal tempering, meter tempering and inspections. So that is currently that is happening uh, to improve our liquidity and revenue collection as well. The other matter which was under the non-compliance that I can uh, talk about it, Chair, uh, it's a uh, recurring of irregular expenditure of, I think it was around 309 million because of overspending on the budget. Uh, that came as a result of the budget cut during our adjustment under that year under review. As you have uh, uh, heard what the CFO of our parent municipality was saying during that time, there was a financial distress where the NT cut and, and, and the money, and as a result, there was an adjustment. During the process, we were also affected by, by virtue of uh, our parent municipality cut our budget. 
And as a result, none of those items that were cut was also the bulk purchases, which is the ESCOM uh, bulk purchases where we pay ESCOM in terms of that. So those are the issues that emanate during that period. Uh, the other items under the non-compliance was the fruitless and wasteful expenditure, which amounted to 23 million. Uh, those were ESCOM and Telcom late payments as a result of um, uh, penalties. Chair, I can confirm to the honorable members here, uh, in terms of the revenue enhancement team that is in place, we have improved in terms of uh, addressing the late payments in terms of ESCOM account. Since January this year, we are making uh, payments on time uh, with ESCOM within the stipulated time. So. Uh, we are holding that and we don't see anything because we have aggressive credit control policy that we are embarking on so that we avoid this uh, fruitless and wasteful expenditure. Um, the other matter, Chair, that was raised on the report, it was about the quotations not motivated for the deviations. Um, it merely on the quotations between uh, 0 to 30, thousand you have to obtain three quotations above that seven days and and then you do the processes so those are the issues that were picked up to say some of these three quotations you might find it's not three quotations it's one quotation but that process we have strengthened the internal controls uh, within the institution and we are not awarding uh, any uh, uh, service provider without through the, the internal control process. So that matter has been addressed as well. There was an issue of tax matters not investigated, uh, which was raised by the AG as well. Uh, we were relying on the CSD chair, but what AG wanted us to do to keep our own records in terms of that. So we have also strengthened our internal controls as well, because all the awards that we do, we verify before the awards. So there is those uh, 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 controls that we have strengthened in terms of addressing those inadequate controls. Um, there was one each, another item, Chair, and honorable members in terms of the financial statement subject to material corrections that was raised, which is falls under the non-compliance as well. This was mainly due to the revaluations of assets that were done every five years. But that matter, Chair, it has been resolved and the finance team, they are attending the grab training every year. And the next grab training is uh, the beginning of July now. So they will go there as well. Um, the question five, why has no consequences management been enforced on the CFO and heads of directorate for non-compliance finding raised by AG. Uh, Chair, the entity is dealing with the investigations and corrective actions are taken where there are cases of deliberate wrongdoings. Um, currently, we are embarking on the uh, uh, investigations, not solely, uh, even on the re repeatable findings that were raised by AG. So we are, we are, uh, that report will have it within uh, a, a month. So we are all, all dealing with uh, the, the, the repeatable findings and all the issues that were raised by AG to investigate them. And after investigations, then we'll submit the report as such and, and, and to the MPEG and, and then do the necessary processes. But some of the non-compliance uh, uh, issues that we have uh, seen, that impacted on our institution was really in terms of the revenue collection, if I may, because our target as, as, as a threshold from even the national trade is 95% revenue collection. But the impact of COVID, it also has an impact to, to make us impossible to collect the revenue because some of the business were closed during that time. And as if you recall, Chair, there was a a moratorium uh, during the level five, where we are unable, which was announced by the state president during the disaster management 
where we are unable to go and do the disconnections during that period. So those are the factors that affect the revenue in, in, in between the revenue collections. So um, the last one, the irregular expenditure. According to your audit report, the full extent of regular was still in the process of being determined. How far are you? Check. Like as I, as I said earlier on, we are investigating all uh, the, the issues that were raised by the AG. And uh, we are almost 80% of that by the end of June. We'll have the final reports around all the issues that were raised from the NTT so that we take necessary processes in place. Thank you, Chair. Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, CEO of CENTLEC. Uh, honorable members, I don't know if there are any other follow ups on these matters. Uh, honorable Van Fieren. Thank you, Chair. Maybe just one on the on the fruitless. I don't know if the uh, member answered it, but on the fruitless and wasteful, the elite distribution center, what is that? So 5.8 million was incurred as a result of additional cost relating to the elite distribution center. We can just get some clarity on that. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, see you. Uh, thank you, Chair. This was the contract which was um, extended and went beyond contract value. And it's one of those issues that we are investigating under the, the findings. Thank you, Chair. Uh, how far are you with the, the, the investigation and how long have you investigated that, that matter? It's, the matter is currently under investigations, and as I said, Chair, all, all the, the, the findings and the report, the timelines by the end of July, we should have concluded all of, all of them. We are nearly there. Most of them, we, are, we, are, we have done it. That's what I was saying. We are almost 80% Chair, in terms of all the investigations. All right. I'm Thank sure you. we will then request that report of the investigations of the regular and, and other related unauthorized expenditure. Uh, and so that we deal with these matters because <clears throat> we know that there was this issue of the employment which took effect from the CINTLEC, uh, which I don't know in terms of uh, your own report, you'll be able to furnish us with that uh, on how you have resolved that. Uh, yeah, uh, honorable members, are we OK? <clears throat> uh, because I, I, I wanted to check if the MMC for finance, she's still here uh, uh, before <clears throat> we then give over to the acting executive mayor on the matter which were raised on, on issues of finance and uh, uh, the, the project which was raised on, on those buses, if uh, were they aware of that, uh, so that uh, because the chair of, of MPEC could not uh, respond to it because she was not aware of it. Uh, I don't know if she's still here. Uh, Maybe I'll get an indication, but if she's not here, it's fine. We we then can move. Okay. It looks like the MMC for finance is not here. Uh, honorable members, before we go to the mayor, I would like to. <coughs> Give over to My Mate. Honorable Chair. I would like to give over to Mete. Yes. I'm I, here, Chair. I don't see you, uh, oh. but if you are able to speak to us, is it Councillor Titi? Yes, Chairperson. Yes. I don't know if you were able to hear 
the question uh, which was raised earlier. Uh, is, the, it was the question of the, the matter of the buses. There was 10 buses which were procured. Yes, Chair. Uh, wanted to check if is there anything that you knew about it because and how far is, is the investigation on the matter? If not, we would like to have the information before the committee uh, on those procurement of those buses. So I wanted to check because the chairperson of MPEC was not aware of it. Is it anything like that? Uh, is it true that one bus was 5.5 million? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chair and all members of the committee. Uh, Chairperson, I just want uh, to allude to the members of the committee. Yes, the Oversight Committee of Finance, we really um, have a meeting, the assessment meeting after we receive the, the report that there are passes that has been procured uh, 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 for the city uh, under the IPTN uh, processes. And uh, immediately when the report was passed to our uh, committee in terms of the financial implications that were there, we call uh, the HOD of the department and the MMC for us to get a more clarity that how can we buy buses before we can have um, the road being finished. Uh, unfortunately, Chair, the, the person that who came to the committee was the HOD, and in terms of uh, the processes of the committee, when we are doing that assessment, we, we want both of them to be there, uh, the political head of the department and the HOD, for them to give us the briefing. Chairperson, we end up only hearing that, yes, there is 10 buses that were procured and uh, there is a public participation that were undergo by the department's um, portfolio committee of um, transport in terms of those buses. And uh, we requested the report or, uh, from the department that HOD, if we can give us the report so we can know Exactly, because we heard Chaperson about the 5.5 um, uh, uh, million each pass, and we said also to the CFO, we need further. Immediately, the department sent us the report, and and the, because they said they also made them, uh, they went to other metros and check how did they procure um, the the their passes and where and then it was all of those things and they, they were saying they also want to do section 32 and then we said they can't be section 32 uh, uh, we we rejected section 32 and say we want all the reports to 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 be in our uh, office we are still waiting for that report chairperson uh, I think chair immediately we made follow up about the 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 the, the report we will will we will request that uh, we bring the report in writing uh, to the committee chairperson uh, for us to make sure that all the details of the report are, are they are reflecting the true reflections of what the committee mm -hmm. are asking now to us thank you very much chairperson uh, thank you very much uh, thank you very much uh, we we will definitely uh, uh, I wait for that and thank you very much for the response, uh, Honorable MMC. Uh, Matt Jackie, can you just take us through the resolutions uh, and very quickly? I think they are, it's only one and one for St. Lake and one for Malawi. Mecheki, Datem Rumetsi. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. I've just um, requested from Mekoni to just fly them for the members on the street. I don't know if Chairperson wants me to go line by line because Mangaun is quite a few. 
No, they are not few. Just quickly. Can you see them, Chair? Not yet. We no, can yes. see your documents, your many documents, but. Oh, maybe let me do this now. Can you see them now? It's just a blank. Uh, it was a blank page. Uh, okay. <clears throat> let me try this one, even though it's a. And this one? It's not yet showing. Uh, <clears throat> I am struggling. I must admit. Go to line. Go to line number three. Line number three. One, two, three. On your right hand, there is outstanding resolution document there. Can you open it? Maybe it will open. Uh, uh go down. Yeah. No, no. Like the second. Ah, magic! I'm struggling. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I continue, Chair? Yeah, quickly. Thank you. Uh, it's Resolution 6 of 2018 for Mangaung Metro Municipality. The committee noted that due to lack of IT systems in place, the financial position of the municipality is not sustainable. The committee resolved that the city manager must compile an action plan with clear milestones, responsibilities, timeframes, and target dates regarding the implementation of IT controls which will ensure the reliability of systems and availability, accuracy, and protection of information. The action plan must be submitted within 90 days from the date on which this resolution has been tabled and adopted in the Free State Legislature on a monthly basis to Provincial Treasury and COPTA. Number B, the accounting officer must investigate and ensure that the applicable remedial actions are instituted against all officials who contravene the SCM policies and those who fail to reach their contracted performance objectives or targets and report their report thereof to be submitted to COCTA on a quarterly basis. And resolution C, review the staffing structure to em eliminate duplication of functions and reduce acting positions. Chair, there are other two, uh, the committee further requested information on the 17-18 audit outcomes with regard to the below mentioned. In 2012 to 13, the municipality started with the planning and establishment of the airport development, which is an N8 node with the purpose of establishing a new township development area. Since the commencement of this project, the municipality has spent 141 876,924 on the planning and establishment costs. In the year under review, there had been limited progress as only the land survey was completed and approval for the township establishment had not yet been obtained from the Mangaung Municipal Planning Tribunal. Additionally, this project has been negatively affected due to delays by other role players involved in the approval of important documents regulating the processes of the project. The last one, the municipality is part of the national process driven by the National Department of Transport to develop an integrated transport network in the metropolitan areas. The municipality has developed and approved an operation plan for phase one for the integrated public transport network that covers the, pe the period 2016 to 2020. Since commencement of the process, the municipality has spent 
265 on planning, feasibility studies, and the initial stages of the construction process of the project for phase one. Phase two of the project has been delayed due to a lack of resources to conduct the relevant surveys, which either had not yet started or had not been completed as a year end. Thank you, Chair. Can I continue with St. Lake as well, Chair? Yes. Thank you, Chair. Resolution 7 of 2018 for St. Lake. There is lack of proper internal controls to ensure reliability of the systems and the availability, accuracy, and protection of information. The committee resolved that the entity must ensure that proper internal control systems are put in place to ensure that information is safe, available, and reliable, and that the dispute between the entity and Mohokare local municipality is speedily resolved to avoid unnecessary litigations. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much, Ma Ma I, 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 I hope uh, that the, the, the acting city manager will then assist us on those outstanding resolutions uh, because we were defied by the, 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 the city manager who is now on, on, on pre precautionary uh, leave. Uh, so please let's ensure that uh, the CEO for St. Lec, uh, that information comes before us. Uh, if you have been resolved the problems between yourself and Mohogara local municipality, and then uh, in terms of proper internal controls, we will like to get that report to the committee. Uh, and also that outstanding matter of, of transport development, integrated transport development network of, uh, of Mangaou. Uh, we also want to get the, the expenditure there of, we know that the monies were used uh, for those feasibility studies, uh, but we also want to go and look at this project, uh, the, the value for money. Uh, sometimes 400 million was used for feasibility study, but when you sometimes go to this project, you'll, you'll see a different story in terms of the expenditure thereof. So, so we'd like to, to, to have that with, with, within the period of three days. Uh, so that we get that report uh, that will also be on, on financial and also non-financial performance so that we see uh, and also the proof of payment thereof because we also want to call on the companies that are actually uh, uh, dealing with this project so that uh, when we balance the, the information from yourselves and them we are able to know uh, the true reflection of this uh, uh, contracts and, 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 and construction. Uh, but I want to say thank you very much. I'm going to give over to the acting executive mayor to give us the closing remarks uh, and, and thereof we'll adjourn our meeting for <clears throat> next week, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Acting Executive Mayor, Councillor Morake. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Chairperson. Uh, I apologize for uh, my gadget was having some problems because I'm very far, far in Botswana here, where I'm addressing the issues of sewer spillage and and water spillages. So I'm um, I apologize for that, but I think those uh, uh, like we are saying will answer all these uh, questions that were asked, even in writing, to make sure that we comply all with what committee is asking from us. And we also uh, uh, appreciate uh, the committee that is able to check our progress and also our uh, uh, failures as the city. But we are committed that uh, under the new leadership will improve a lot uh, uh, because we have number of intervention programs that uh, we are going to put in place that will make sure that free, fruitless, wasteful, unauthorized expenditure is the issue of yesterday and also uh, the issue of uh, 
project spending or project life cycle is completed as within the SCM uh, process, which is 90 days. And also payment of uh, uh, suppliers uh, will make sure that uh, it happens within 30 days after the completion of the work. And I think that uh, those are some of the control measures that we are going to come up with. And also the issue of PMU, where we are going to manage the projects assisted by the National Treasury. Uh, So those are some of the uh, good programs that will be in place this financial year to improve our audit uh, performance. Also, the consequence management in terms of the current audit, because uh, we need to take action on some of them so that we remove this fruitless and wasteful and unauthorized expenditure on our books. So I think with those few words, I would like to thank all uh, who uh, participated in this meeting. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, thank you very much for your cooperation, uh, Honorable Executive Mayor, Acting Mayor, and the Speaker, uh, and the Chairperson of MPEC, uh, Honorable Chairperson of MPEC, Honorable Speaker, Honorable MMC Finance, uh, the Acting uh, City Manager, CFO, uh, CEO Centlec, and the CFO Acting. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, we will be coming down to to your uh, municipalities uh, unannounced very soon. And we hope that we will get the compliance uh, uh, in terms of coming in there so that we are not being closed outside uh, because uh, we want to come and, and do the oversight of what happened, especially on the issues of the uh, the COVID-19 uh, expenditure, which I know with with yourselves as Mangawu, we have not yet got the report uh, what happened to to that uh, COVID expenditure. Uh, uh, so so <clears throat> very soon the committee will be coming down. Uh, so thank you very much and we wish you all the best. Uh, and I hope you will get more improvements. In, in, in good governance. So thank you very much, uh, Siabonga. May God bless you. So, honorable members, uh, this brings us to the adjournment of our meeting. Uh, Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, MMC Finance. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you. Uh, honorable members, this brings us to the adjournment of our meeting. Uh, I'm sure we'll deal with all these processes once we have dealt with them. Uh, I know we still have other outstanding matters that we'll deal in committee. Uh, I want to thank everyone. Uh, Mekoni, thank you very much, uh, advocate for for, for 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 ensuring that you assist us heavily. We really appreciate it. Mejeki, uh, is there anything that we need to know before we close the meeting? Uh, no, Chair, we, I think we we'll just have to look at a date to, for rescheduling of the outstanding municipalities. But yeah, we'll, we'll check with the um, manager for committees what we can work out. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, Bonga, thank you very, very much. The Auditor General, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, those who were with us, Treasury officials, thank you very much, and Cocta. Not forgetting Salga, uh, we'll, we'll also deal with the matters as we come to other municipalities. Uh, I want to thank you and the chairperson of MPEC from Mangao. Thank you very much, uh, and everybody. Thank you, honorable members. Uh, enjoy the rest of your other committees for tomorrow and other days. Uh, we'll meet in the sitting of Friday plenary. Thank you. Siabonga, God bless all of you. IT, thank you. Chairperson. Honorable Van Vieren. Sorry, Therese, to come in now. I see on the program there's a, there's a slot for us for tomorrow for public accounts. I can't see that we are approving a, a report, so what?
that's now on the TAC. On the on the latest in the program, yes, what that we approved this morning. Is was it because of what of the of the of the joint? Is it because of the joint board? I think okay. it's well. It's 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 slotted in with all those other committees tomorrow. The public accounts one o'clock. But I I, I okay. I'm just gonna make sure with you what's what's that for. No, I'll I'll have to check it because I know we don't have any committee yeah. tomorrow. It yes. should have been an error. Uh, oh, I thought so. Yeah, yes. Uh, I, I think it was it was slotted in for consideration of the report, but noting that we could not finish, I think that the minister might have to change it. Yeah, uh, but we spoke about it. I was part of the programming, but it's fine. Uh, that day, that day, was, was maybe on that, uh, under under uh, pretendence that uh, we are going to deal with it. Uh, once we are done, so unfortunately, we our our process is not yet done. So, but thank you very much. Uh, we don't have a committee of project tomorrow. It will be attending other committees. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.